Let's get animating, putting something in the render method to at last make our drinking bird move. I've gotten things ready by structuring the geometry a bit. The bird has two parts, the support, which is the legs and feet, and the animated part, which is the body and head. I've put the body and head into a new object 3D called body head. Next I do a thing that JavaScript allows. I create a new parameter for the bird called animated, which I set to body head. In this case, I want to access the animated part of the bird in the render function, so for convenience, I give it a separate parameter. Adding parameters at any time to an object is a feature of JavaScript. That said, it can also be a bit annoying at times. For example, if I try to set a parameter and make a small spelling error, I'm not told that the parameter didn't previously exist. I could also create what I think is a new name, only to find later that I'm actually using an existing parameter. Long and short, be careful. Usually you'll find the error eventually, but the word there is eventually. Here's where the animation happens. We want to rotate the body around its z-axis, the axis of the crossbar. There's a variable called tilt direction that's either 1 or negative 1. If it's 1, then the rotation will increase by a small increment, half a degree per render. When the angle reaches a maximum of 103 degrees, the object swings back the other direction by changing tilt direction to negative 1. Whatever amount the bird has moved past 103 degrees is used to move it the other way. Now the rotation angle is decremented by half a degree until a limit of negative 22 degrees is reached, which causes it to reverse again. What we'd like to see is this result, with the drinking bird rotating around its crossbar, forward and back. We get this instead, with the drinking bird rotating around the origin. The problem is that we haven't set the body of the bird to have a pivot point that is where the crossbar is located.